Hi, this is Valerie, and welcome back to Now Gardening. Today, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Taking care of your tomato plants and having fresh tomatoes from your garden does not have to be complicated. And today, I'm gonna to keep it simple, and I'm gonna tell you about the three essential steps of taking care of your tomato plants and getting great results. As many of you saw from my YouTube video on saving leggy tomato seedlings, raising tomato plants does not have to be hard work. Yes, some areas are more prone to diseases and pests, and there are plenty of videos on YouTube that address those. But today I'm going to keep it very simple and tell you about the three essential steps to taking care of tomato plants, the three things that I do personally in my own garden that give me great results. So number one addresses how you feed and water your tomatoes. So the first thing that you do is when you are transplanting your tomatoes from the house out to the garden, I recommend that you put an organic fertilizer in the garden before you plant the tomatoes. I personally start planting fish heads about a foot down in my garden about two to three weeks prior to planting my tomato plants. Now don't worry, you don't have to do that. There are plenty of organic fertilizers at the garden store, including fish emulsion that you can use, but really any organic fertilizer that you put under the tomato plants so that their roots get into it early on and that will help them build strong roots and help protect them from any diseases that they might be prone to in the early stages of their development is a great idea. Second thing that I do is about three to four weeks into the growing season, then I do fertilize them again so that they get a new boost at the time that they're going to start producing their fruit. As for watering, tomatoes like a lot of water, but not too much water. And so I don't wanna make this complicated. Let's keep it simple. What I do is I give them a really, really good and solid watering, and then I leave them for about two days between waterings. And that especially helps them dig down deep into the soil and that makes their roots strong, seeking out that water. Now, I absolutely have gone with the process in the past to water them daily, a little bit each day, and that works okay too, but I really do prefer the method of watering them about every two days and watering them deeply and letting them kind of get dry, not dry necessarily, but a little bit drier in between waterings. Now, moving on to number two, you've probably seen a ton of videos that show you all kinds of intricate ways of staking your tomatoes. But I'm here to tell you that it does not have to be complicated. If you see behind me, literally I take these stakes, these, they're about six feet, they're about five to six feet tall, so about 160 to 70, about 170, 180 centimeters, and I put them in the ground next to the tomato plant, and I use these, these little ties to clip them into place to hold them next to the stake. Now again, you don't have to stress out about this. This does not have to be done as soon as you transplant your seedlings outside. You really can judge it for yourself, but basically, usually when the tomato plant gets about this tall, so about, I don't know, six to 12 inches, I would say, and about 20 to 30 centimeters, that's the point when I stake them. And that's just because they start to get a little top heavy with their leaves. This is usually before they start putting on fruit, but they get a little bit top heavy and they can start leaning over. So you wanna give them that support early on before they get the fruit on the vine and start getting weakened and have a tendency to lean or to break. And again, there are many different ways to give them support. I like to just keep it as simple as possible, put a stake in the ground, clip the tomatoes to it, and this has worked perfectly fine for me. Now before I move on to number three, if this video has been helpful so far, would you please click the like button down below so that YouTube will know to show this video to other gardeners who are looking for easy ways to take care of their tomato plants. Thank you. Now the third essential step in caring for your tomato plants is how you handle new growth. Now this involves two different things. One is pruning your tomatoes and the second is pinching back new growth. So I'm going to kind of start with pinching back new growth, which I do as my daily walk around. And when I say that, I'm talking about where the new shoots come out in between the branches. At that point, you just remove it with your fingers and it prevents another branch from growing in that spot and allows the tomato plant to put its energy towards producing flowers and fruit. On the other hand, I've got two experiments going about pruning. This bed is my prune bed, which I have not pruned this week, but this is my pruned bed. And that is a bed that I am not pruning at all. 
So I am trying to let it go because I've heard some different theories on whether pruning is actually as effective as we think it is. I'll show you a clip of what I do here to prune them, but in general, the idea is to keep the tomato plants from just really touching each other too much and to kind of leaning and laying over on top of each other and inhibiting each other's growth. As you see here, because I do have a limited space, my tomato plants are only about, they're only about a foot to maybe, eh, yeah, I'd say they're about 30 centimeters or a foot apart, maybe 18 inches or 45 centimeters, something to that effect. But they're pretty close for big tomato plants. So pruning has always been really a lifesaver for me to keep the beds nice and clean and to get a good tomato production. However, that said, I will come back and tell you in another month or so how this bed over here fared uh, the one that's being left completely alone. I do feel comfortable right now kind of advocating pruning just because if you even see over here, these are growing much, much slower than the ones behind me. These guys, as soon as I prune them, they just shoot up again and start producing more flowers, more fruit, and so forth. And really, if you stay on top of the pinching back the new growth, you can make a tour of your tomato patch and this does not have to be like hard, grueling work that you spend hours doing. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you back next time.